Hello everyone, uh, so I just wanted to make a uh, Vorkath farming guide for babies just because I'm a baby when it comes to PVMing in this game and I found Vorkath, uh, while intimidating once you beat Dragon Slayer 2, it is very easy once you know what you're doing. So a couple of things I wanted to apologize for first um, before we get started is one I want to apologize for the audio quality I, I don't have the best setup my computer is on my desk you can hear the fan in the background and two I'm playing in full screen uh, full screen size uh, I tried to practice a couple kills in fixed mode so everything was nice and tight and easier for you to see all at once um, I was just doing real bad I, I couldn't do it I couldn't see uh, you know, to be able to see the whole screen, my prayers were taking up my whole entire character, just uh, wasn't working out for me. So, what this guide's mainly for is after you beat Dragon Slayer 2 and you start want to start farming Vorkath, uh, the post quest version with all the juicy drops and everything. So, first thing I want to go over is my personal stats. Uh, I have 83 range, 84 HP, 75 defense, and uh, 81 magic. With these stats, I'm able to get two to three kills per trip, depending on how much uh, magic damage he does to me. Because of my gear setup, I pray for range, and you know sometimes his magic attacks just whittle down the health. Now, for my gear, I have full elite void, a salve amulet EI, a dragon hunter crossbow, a dragon fire ward, just blessed dehyde boots, a brimstone ring, and then I have the Ava's assembler. I got lucky with the head drop at 10 kills, but you get uh, one guaranteed at 50. So you will eventually get this guaranteed doing this boss. Um, I did sell my whole bank to get the crossbow and the shield. But I highly recommend this setup if you're able to afford it for the farming. If not, a dragon hunter crossbow, not dragon hunter, a dragon crossbow with dragon bolts would be just fine. Um, you start the fight with Ruby Dragon Bolts E. I like to switch to Diamond right as soon as I break through 300 HP. It works, it's what works best for me. Um, the other thing that you want to have with you in your inventory is a Slayer Staff with Crumble Undead set for autocast because uh, one of his special attacks he has too is he shoots a, a white flame at you which freezes you and then summons a little bug thing and if it hits you it blows up and does like 60 damage and uh, you can get killed from it following up from his other attacks. Sometimes you get lucky and you can heal through it. His other atta special attack is the drops acid everywhere and fireballs. Now, with that, one thing that I'd like to remind you is when you're walking, you are actually one square ahead of where your character is. So, if using these rocks here, when I'm one square away, right there, I was actually technically already here. There's, your character has some lag with by the tile that you're moving. There's some add-ons that you can get that show your true tile location. Um, I don't like them. It clogs up my screen. Just remember, you know, one tile away. So when you're walking, if you just keep clicking, you'll be fine. Now, for these tile markers here that I have set up, I only have five. These are for the white but the white special attack with the bug because it will spawn in this area over here and then these three if you fight in this area for range um, this back lines open for the acid special attack so I want to show you uh, and then for my inventory I just bring one divine ranging potion anti-venom plus a extended super anti-fire two prayer potions the rest manta rays my rune pouch full of a uh, the runes needed for Slayer Staff and teleport the house. So let's do a kill together and we can just see how easy it is. Now when I start a kill I take every kill I do per trip I take a sip of each potion 
uh, just because a kill takes me just under three minutes if I'm lucky. So I just refresh it every kill. But this is gonna be my 205th kill. So uh, yeah, let's do this together and just, you can see how easy it is once you, you know, get the hang of things. So there's nothing to panic about. And another thing that you want to make sure is you always want to be walking. You know, see, that's the acid attack, the poison attack. That's just fire breath. That's the fireball. Now, don't panic about it. You have time to walk away. That's your range attack. Now, with this, see, when the fireball is still going up in the air, you, you can get away from it. So, see, with this, you just want to click. Now, if you've gotten your fire cape, one thing that people always say is one action per attack. For this, I recommend the same mindset, one action per direction change. So if you have to eat, if you have to up your prayer potion, do it after you switch your direction so you have your time walking and you can safely change back. The purple flame there, Turns off your prey. Now see, so just follow the bug. Zombified spawn. Kill it once you see that experience. You're free to re-equip your crossbow. Go right back to attacking. Um, after you kill the bug, there's also a little delay for his attack. So if you want to eat, you know, drink a prayer potion, or if it's a super long kill, and you really have, you have to redo your anti venom. That's a great time to do it then too. see you know just don't panic getting down here if you walk through some acid and heal them a little bit that's perfectly fine now after this you I mean during it you can most definitely turn off your prayer but afterwards you know you want to turn it back on just so you have that there you know and just don't panic you know heal up when you need to and everything will be perfectly fine. See, kill him, heal, potion, crossbow, attack. And then, see, as easy as that was, now you just collect your loot, and he just sits there. I mean, you have to poke him so he doesn't, you know, respawn back ready to go. You have some time. You can sit back, collect. You know, on that one, I had a little bit of a rough go. I messed up a little bit. So I can just sit here, you know, eat, fill up my prayer potion, my prayer, get my uh, stats all back together, and I'm ready to go. It's, it's once you get the hang of it it's a super easy boss um, you can definitely get your quest kill in full blessed dehyde with a rune crossbow with the addy version of these bolts um, you know just bring teleport tabs to wherever you want to escape to wherever you feel comfortable having those for because if you do die to get your gear back it is 100k and I know with Iron Man or some people who just don't have funds, don't have like a bank built up, um, that can be a little bit of an issue. Um, and going through this process, I've definitely died my fair share of time. The little guy by the boat, you know, has a small fortune from me. Um, 
just be aware, you know, if you can, if you're feeling like kill is not working, just get out. But uh, thank you for watching, and as always, toodles, and I hope you have a wonderful day.